that's not what I wanted. It's like, yeah, this is this is not it. This I want to do the run me. It's like, yeah. It's like, yeah. Then I, I did quote that earlier though. This is uh, Deuteronomy 8, uh, 18 and 10. He said, uh, there, shall, uh, there shall not be found among you any anyone that maketh his son or his daughter to pass through the fire, or that uses divinations or uh, or an um, observer of times, observer of times, or an, or an enchanter, or a witch. Right, and this is what Oprah does all the time, man. You know, she enchants people. She's uh um she promotes like I said earlier she promotes all the um Esau's doctrines man you know also got an Exodus too right. come on, come on, you, you get that one I got that all right one. and then she uh and um uh see an observer of times man matter of fact she has a movie uh damn what the fuck is that movie called a wrinkle a wrinkle in time she actually played a fucking witch and she was actually uh. She was an enchanter in that movie, man. And guess what? And matter of fact, if you watch that interview, she the, she promoted the movie. The movie was for kids, man. All right, so man, oh, so that's that's a spirit. I'm gonna go back to read uh, that one in Exodus because that that's that's um that was far because because she she um you know they 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 push these indoctrinations on children, man, because they uh, those young minds, man. You know, and, and they want them seen, and they push it so much that it made it, it seems like a, a thing of normality. All right, this verse 11. He said, or a charmer or a consulter with familiar spirits, which, which she does. All right, or a wizard or a necromancer. And you know what a wizard is, a male witch. And a necromancer is one that brings people from the dead. And Esau is a big promoter of that, man, because... Um, I, thought I thought necromancer is one that has sex with the dead. No, ne no, nah, that's a necrophilia. Necrophilia. Yeah. yeah, necromancer is one that brings people back from the dead. Yeah. Which Esau, hey, which Esau practices that in his in his hospitals, bro. Yeah. People be dead, you'll be dead on a hospital table. This motherfucker uh, through electro shock, man, brings you back to life and shit, man. You know, then then what does he do? He he infuses you with other people's blood, man, which is again against the scriptures. Okay, all right, verse twelve. For all that do these things are an abomination. Unto the Lord, and because of these abominations, the Lord thy power doeth drive uh, doeth drive them out from uh, from before thee. All right, well, what? Because because and then verse verse thirteen, thou shalt be perfect with the Lord thy power. Uh, yeah. So so this is what the Yahweh Shah calls uh, us us to do as uh, the men of the Lord, man. So when we hey hey, you know, I tell my sons all the time if I get a bad accident or whatever and they come to you and I'm out of it and they say yeah well we can save him we're gonna operate and give him a blood transfusion hey look man if it ain't no if, if it ain't no chance for me to make it bro let let me go man my my fucking limbs if I'm broke I messed up from the waist down man and, and they talking about bringing me back man I'm gonna be a, a, in a chip, wheelchair for the rest of my life bro look let me go bro you know what I'm saying don't don't bring me back to life I, I I'm not uh, 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 jumping up for joy to 